Hi, it's Susan at Susan's Cozy Condo. I thought I would jump on here today and show you what I've done to my secretary. I got this little brainstorm of a little thing I should do and it's a little unconventional, but I wanted to share it with you. Um, I took the doors off because they reflected so bad, you couldn't really see what was in there. And I never changed it out because you really couldn't see what was in there. And really all I had was some old books and a little few knickknacks. So I'm gonna step back so you can get the full view of the secretary and then we'll zoom in on what I did. So hang on just a minute. This is a view of the secretary and how I have it on this wall, get a full, um, glimpse of the whole thing, the four drawers and the pull down front. And then this is how I have everything displayed. So here's a close up of my secretary without the doors. And you can see that I did leave the hinges on for now because I wasn't sure that we were gonna like it. And I may wanna put the doors back on. So I thought I'd try it for this summer and put some things in here and see how it goes. I may end up putting the doors back on in the fall. But like I said, I never changed it out because you really couldn't see what was in there. And I really don't have that many places to display things because this is an open concept, big open space, and there's not that many places you can put a table. And I couldn't leave the doors open on the secretary because I have picked that's my son Ben and then over there is Matt. I have those pictures and then I have chairs on either side of this secretary. So I just want to tell you what I put in here so you can see what I did. I always had these books in here. These are just some books that, well first of all we got this secretary from Dan's grandmother um, and the books were part of the deal and he refinished it. And this was many years ago. Uh, she's been gone probably, I don't even know, 35 years at least. So it's been a long time. So we got this, this set of books and because of the black cover, in fact, this one is Edgar Allan Poe. Um, I turned them around because the dark binding, you couldn't really see. So I turned them so that the page side faced out and then I just got this old camera at a at an estate sale so I put that in here and then over here is the old bingo card that I got at the vintage market and then I put my boys um, baby cups in here and there's the other one and this is an old doll that belonged to my grandmother's family I really can't remember the story. Something about some uncle way, way back, brought it back from the Civil War. And she's been loved a lot. She's got a broken foot and her arms are broken. And this is not the original dress. But anyway, um, I liked it. And eventually my grandmother did give it to me. So I just stuck her in there. And then this little tea set belonged to my grandmother. She did not have it as a child. My mother said she bought it when she went to England as an adult. Um, but anyway, I have that. And then I collect yellowware bowls. And I did downsize my collection a little bit. And I had these stuck away because I didn't have anywhere to display them. So I pulled them out. And then down here are some more of the old books. And then I set some books here. This book, I liked it this way because I like that copper the copper, um, whatever you, um, edging on the pages. And this is a piece of coral that Dan's grandmother had years and years on a shelf in her living room. And we got that. And then these two cameras here, my husband was kind of an amateur photography when we first got married. And these were just some of his first cameras that he kept for whatever reason, I do know. But anyway, there they are. And this is just an interesting old hose nozzle, nozzle, brass, and it's got this patina on it that my mom had laying on her back porch. And when she moved, I 
grabbed it. And then these little things, these are the tiniest little um, flower frogs I've ever seen. Uh, they were at my husband's mother's house. Uh, I don't know if they were his mother's or nanny's or whoever, but anyway, I thought they were kind of cute. So I put them there. Just, these are just little things that I never had anywhere to set out. And then this little silhouette is of no one we know. I bought it in an antique shop because, let me show you, up here, let me see if I can get this camera to loosen up and go up. Up there, I have my boy's silhouette and my silhouette, and, and my husband didn't have one. So when I saw that at an antique shop, I said, hmm, now he does. We're going to pretend like that's him. So that's that's our pretend picture. And then this, I layered this because I just thought it looked really neat. Um, this is some old lace that a great, great aunt had made with tatting. I don't know if any of you know what tatting is. I, My grandmother tried to teach me, but I couldn't get it. And so my mother had it framed and it's backed on a page to a, a some kind of journal and it's dated 1888. But um, of course this frame is not old. It's something my mother had framed, but the, the lace was on this piece of paper. So I just thought if I set it up here and it would make it show up a little bit. I've got some little candles back there to give it some light. And then down here on the um, bottom shelf, some more of the books. Um, and you can see they're, how dark they are, but I did turn them the other way. And then, ooh, and then a, another yellowware bowl. I have a set of three of these that my sister gave me a long time ago. And then I have this shell that we got when we were in the Bahamas. And then, of course, another yellowware bowl. So I thought it was um, an interesting way to display things. Let me get back here in the picture. Um, to display things that I just had stuck away. And it was a change. And it, I thought it might give you guys some ideas if you see a secretary um, maybe the doors would be broke off or what the glass would be missing or whatever. You can still use it. And um, I keep all our, in the front part, envelope stamps, all that good stuff. It's junky. And the drawers hold a multitude of sins. So um, I just thought it was a great way to display things. And I thought that I would share that with you. So thanks for stopping by. And maybe I sparked a little idea in your head and if you see one at a um estate sale or flea market or something you could think of something to do with it other than what it was originally intended for so for now i'll see you later next <laughs> can't talk i'll see you next time bye